What led me to the arts is, um, I, I think, just creativity, period. I mean, I, I was always kind of thinking outside of the box. So, you know, before there was art, I was always off the beaten path with something. So um, I think art just was a logical evolution of, you know, things that I was looking for anyway, just as creative outlets. My art is, it's varied. Um, I work in different mediums. Uh, they range from uh, uh, illustration, to film, to painting, to sculpting. And um, I try to be as proficient in all of them as possible. You know, I'm working on becoming a jack of all trades and a master of all of them instead of the, you know, the whole master of none thing. Um, primarily right now I'm working as a sculptor. That's, uh, that's kind of what my inner voice is calling me to do and that's pretty much what I, what I was known for is these, uh, these very strange biomorphic tree human fusion type things that are made out of napkins that I used to get from Taco Bell. One of the organizations that I, that's really dear to my heart, um, I was one of the founding members of, was Inclusion in Art, and is, I say was, it, it, we're very much still here. And um, I, I think that came about because we noticed there was a disconnect between artists of color and the mainstream art community. Um, and you know, there were, there were different reasons and none of them were, were because they didn't want to be connected, it's just nobody knew how. So we came up with this idea that we would, we would be the, the bridge that, you know, to put those communities together. I would say to aspiring artists, get a mentor. Um, I, I had a great mentor. Um, and you know, it, it keeps you, having a mentor keeps you from bumping your head. And you, your career will go further quicker if you avoid roadblocks rather than just try to run through them. I don't think I would have gotten as far as I have if, you know, and, and as young as I was, you know, it was, it was a very quick thing for me, but I really owe that to, uh, to my mentor, and that mentor is Paul Medina, who a uh, good friend of mine. Michi Susan has impacted me in, in quite a few ways. Uh, I became aware of who she was and how prominent she was in, in the art community when I was um, first getting started. And I read about her, I read about her contributions and how active she was in creating community. Well, there came a day where, she, where I was at a show and she, she walks over to me and she, she pulls me by the shirt. She says, Nathan, your art is really good. But it really felt good for her to, to affirm me as an artist, especially given her, um, her track record, you know, her history in the arts. The Paseo was the first place that I went looking for friends, we're looking for connections, they immediately embraced me and this community embraced me. So they, they made it easy for me to want to even continue to pursue being an artist and I, I love this community and I, I deeply thank them. Mm -hmm.